Čo po vás? Go! Go! It's all good! Let's, let's play. Tell us what to do. Let's play. Just your sweet, quit. Alright. Let's play again. One more. One more. Let me hear you like two goals now. That's all, that's good. Let's play again. I will return the favor now. Let's watch. You see that, right? See that pass? The goal is coming now. Okay. He can't score. Not possible. See, but that was close. My keeper has a day. She calm down now. That was, I, I, that was close now. That was close. Right. Close hey, enough. Stay the game. True. It's okay. true. Hello, babe. Welcome. How was your day? Oh, look at that. I told you. <laughs> Let's play again, don't worry. Oh, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Plug it this time. Please dismiss. David! David! Yes, I'm, babe. I'm coming. Yes. I'm coming. What have you done to I have no idea. Let's go on, go on, go on. Let me flog you. This this one goal you scored, eh? I have to return the favor. What is this? Yes. What is this mess, David? How many times do I have to tell you that I do not appreciate things like this? How do I go out there, bust my ass like like like, like a horse, and come back to to a filthy house? Eh? You stay there playing video games and, 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 and I come into the kitchen and I make this? Okay. Why is it that it's so hard for me to just adhere to simple instructions, David? I told Sebandi. Can you please calm down? You're actually yelling and my friend is here. And so what? Please, please, please. All, all I'm saying is that your voice is loud and, and it's in the living room. I'm sure you can hear what... It's even good. Did you hear me so that you can hear how much of a lazy jobless man you are? I'll, I'll sort it out, okay? Anything you want. I'll sort it out, please. Don't piss me off, David. I'm going upstairs and by the time I get back down, this should be sorted out, and my food should be ready. Yes. If not, David, you and I will have issues. I have heard we you. Have it's okay. Just calm down. I said I'll sort it out. Okay. Come on. Wait. And what are you still doing here? Huh? Are you that jobless that you sit with your fellow jobless man and play video games all day like 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 like, like children? I beg your pardon. What? Look here, I am not your boyfriend. I will not have you insult me. I won't, I won't take that from you, okay? You could never be my boyfriend. You hear me? You know why? Because I would never date a loser like you. Babe, babe, please stop. Please just take it easy. You can't talk to Alfred like that. Wait, you're taking his side? Eh, David? You are taking his side? You want me to leave the house for both of you, Abby? No, 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 no. I, I'm not saying that. All I'm just saying is that we can accord a little respect to him since he's my guest. What stupid guest? Will you leave? No, we can't. Stop this. Babe. Get out, I beg. Babe. Babe. Bro. Babe. Oh. How can you behave to Alfred like that? He has done nothing wrong, okay? Oh, okay. So, what should I have done? The minute I walked into the house, I should start clapping for you both now. Eh? Applaud you people for sitting down like jobless human beings playing video games all day. How can you say that, babe? I'm not jobless. You know very much that I'm into web applications and app development. My clients haven't paid yet and I've not had some jobs this past season. Things have been difficult, okay? Moreover, we're just having fun, that's all. David, you know, for a man that doesn't have a job, that doesn't earn money, you talk too much. Someone hearing you now would think that, oh, he, he's, he's saying something grand. Oh, you know, I'm a bad man. When was the last time you made money? You're not jobless, Abby. When was the last time you made money? Answer me. So a man that doesn't make money, is he not jobless? Is he not, David? Answer me. Is he not? Don't piss me off, oh. David, you know how I can be when I'm upset? I don't like getting upset, but you somehow just push my buttons. Don't piss me off. Go into that kitchen now and clean up that place. Clean up that mess and make something for me to eat. Birds of a feather flocking together to no destination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yourself. Birds of a feather.
Alfred, I have apologized several times to you. How many more do you want me to do that? Okay, come on, man. I'm still your buddy. I'm sorry. David, I don't know what you're doing. Because I do not understand what that girl is still doing in your apartment. I mean, she does not have an iota of respect for you. Oh. On the contrary, you're wrong. Emilia respects and loves me. It's just that in the recent times, she's been having it really tough in her office. That explains why she's been acting so strange and cold. But she's a good girl. She's fine. Huh. She's been that way from day one, David. Yes, since the day you guys started dating, she's been the same way till now. I mean, she feels you guys are not of the same standard, but yet she moved into your apartment. And there you go again. She moved into my apartment because she loves me, because she wants to be closer to me. I don't know why you don't get it. And I love her too, okay? I, I would never leave her. In case that's what you're trying to ask me to do, you better drop it because it won't work. I mean, you were there. You saw how I suffered to get her attention, to get her to date me and be in a relationship with me. You saw everything. Come on, bro. So is that, is that good enough reasons to ignore all her red flags? Because it's clear, man. It's clear she's, she doesn't love you. She's only using you. Using me? Yes. No. No. Amelia isn't using me, okay? If you think she's dating me for money, then I assure you, that's a wrong notion. Let me give you this. I know I haven't told you this before, but in the past two weeks, I haven't given her a dime, not a single cobble. Emilia has been the one sustaining the house, sustaining us, sustaining me. And she loves me. She loves me so much. I don't know, I don't know why you don't see it, but she really does. And I know she's going to become a better person. She'll change. I give up on you. Yes, I give up on you for real. Because it's clear you're blindly in love with her. Okay. I mean, it's glaring. So whatever she does now, it's, it's right in your, in your, like, you, you can't actually see any wrong in anything <laughs> she does. What has she done wrong? She's done nothing wrong. Oh, 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 I get it. Are you referring to the fact that she yells at me once in a while? So you're okay with that? Well, I'm cool with that. I can handle it. I mean, you need to also remember that we have different personalities. There's something I can handle, okay? Or maybe you're thinking about the fact that I do the chores in the house, I cook, I wash the dishes. Listen, she's my girlfriend. And you know, these things make her happy. If washing the dishes, doing the house chores, cooking, and whatnot makes her happy, I am more than willing to do these things for the rest of our lives. Because I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to marry her. All right, all right, it's fine. Go on, marry. Marry her. <laughs> well, I know they just, just do you, OK? Hey, baby. Hi. I'm okay. I'm just stressed. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. So how are you? How have you been? It's been a while. Hmm. When I come back to Lagos. What? You're in Lagos already? And you didn't tell me. That's not fair. Of course, I want to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So you pick me up, yes? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Let me see you too, baby. All right. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> um, I heard you have a conversation over the phone. Who was that? David, are you now eavesdropping on me? Of course not. I was already on my way to the room and I heard you speaking with someone. That's all. Was it intentional? Hey, friend. 
Just a friend. David, please. I, I, I don't have time for your interrogations, your stupid questions. I don't have time for it. If you're not comfortable with me making calls in your house, then say, I will move back to my apartment. It's not like I'm homeless. No, that's, that's not what I'm saying. That's not to that, okay? It's just that I heard you call him baby, and I was wondering, since you and I started dating, you've never used such terms or endearment as me. So what are you saying? That I don't love you? David, if that's how you feel, then please, let's end the relationship. Okay? I'm tired. Hey, I'm afraid, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, you don't have... To... I mean, you have a right to make phone calls in this house. And, I mean... You know what? Let's just forget about this. This never happened. Let's just go to bed. We can go... Oh, I was about to shower anyway, so... Okay? I'm sorry. I've heard you now, David. Please. All right. Okay. Just by saying I love you, do you love me? Would you say if I took those words away that you wouldn't make things new? Just by saying I love you, cause I <clears throat> babe. Are you going out? Yes, I'm off to work. When I get back, I don't want to see dirty dishes in the sink. That's not a problem. All right. Uh, yeah, one more thing. I left my dirty clothes in the bathroom. Please. I said, please, oh, help me wash them. Fine. I'll take care of that, too. OK. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, um, goodbye, kiss. Babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you. I know. to me when I say I will love you more than that. Hey, bro. Jennifer, what are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? <sighs> I haven't seen you in a week, so is it a crime to come pay you a visit? No, I'm not saying it's a crime, but at least you should have informed me first. I mean, what if I wasn't home? Well, thankfully, you're at home. Besides, I just came to the neighborhood to come see someone, then I say, let me come say hi to you. Jennifer, please, next time you're coming around, be sure to inform me, OK? You know how much I hate it when people come visit me unannounced. OK, noted, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. So how have you been? Uh, is this not Emilia's clothes you're washing? Like, this is Emilia's clothes you're washing? Why can't she wash it herself? What is wrong with this girl? Where is Emilia? Hey, listen, listen. Emilia! Emilia is not home. She's gone to work. And besides, I don't see anything wrong with me washing my own girlfriend's clothes. All right? Stop all this drama. Yes, I know. There's no big deal in you washing your girlfriend's clothes. But for goodness sake, it's not in your place to do this. It is her clothes and let her wash them by herself. 
David, do not let this girl reduce you to a mere footmat. Don't do this. Go inside. I'll join you when I'm done. Okay. I can't believe this. Jennifer, go inside. Why are you doing this to yourself? This is not nice. Why are you... What is going on? Jennifer, we'll talk inside, all right? I won't take this. This is not nice. It's not cool. Thanks for coming to spend time with me. Oh. To be honest, I was already beginning to get bored and then you showed up. So, oh I really appreciate your company. So, uh, my regards to your husband mm -hmm. and the kids. Okay. Yeah, sure. I will definitely extend your regards to everybody. Right. But David, I think you need to stop following Emilia's orders. Listen. You're my brother. And it's so embarrassing when they come around and find you doing chores means for your girlfriend. It's not cool. I know, I know. But Jenny, don't blame your brother. Blame love. I am so deeply in love with Amelia. I love her so much. I don't want to do anything to offend her, okay? If you're doing the chores in the house and, you know, every other thing makes her happy, then so be it. Remember how I struggled to get her attention and get her to date me? Yeah. So please, just try and understand. I know what I'm doing and everything will be fine, okay? Well, I'm your sister and I've given you my own opinion. So if you like, you take it. If you like, you can leave it. And I will take your advice on that consideration. You cannot continue being a slave. Okay, fine. I've heard you. I'll think about it. Hmm? Are you happy now? All right, so... I have to go now. I know. Let me know when you get home, okay? I'll do that. Yeah. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Be good. I will. Yes, I had a good time. I had a good time. Excuse me? Yes, Jennifer, what is it? Did I just see you kissing another guy? And how was that any of your business? Huh? Wow. Yes. What are you even doing here in the first place? What am I doing here in the first place? <sighs> the last time I checked, this house belongs to my brother. And I have every right to come visit my brother. <laughs> Indeed. Is this the kind of girl my brother wants to get married to? Okay. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Because I would never be alive to watch my brother get married to such an imbecile, such an uncomfortable person. Never. Let's see. Baby, you're home. Welcome. David, what was your sister doing here? I thought I told you that I do not want to see her anywhere around here. Babe, she's my sister. Am I supposed to prevent my sister from coming to see me? You want your sister to visit you, right? No problem. I will leave and you will never see me again. So she, you can give her all the access that she wants. No, baby, I'm, I'm sorry. It hasn't gotten to that, please. If you leave me, how will I survive? 
Okay, fine. I will talk to my sister, okay? And I promise you she will never step her feet in this house again. Please. Whatever. I know you both have talked about me because that's all she knows how to do, gossip. She would never sit in her husband's house, just moving from place to place, looking for cheap gossip. No, no, babe. We didn't gossip about you or anyone. She was just around the neighborhood and she decided to stop by. As a matter of fact, she didn't even stay long. Did you cook something? I'm hungry. Yes. I made you something very delicious. All you have to do is just go freshen up and I'll serve you hot, hot. Good. Um, uh, how was work today? Yeah. Okay, so, go serve the food. David, stop, stop. I'm not in the mood. Stop. Well, what's this one now? Every time it's in the last couple of months now, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. When are you going to be in the mood? I'm honey. I'm not in the mood, David. So just because you are honey, I should, I should, I should what? Spread my legs wide open for you. What is it now, David? No, I didn't put it that way, but at least you can't just be preventing me from touching you every single time now. I need this thing. I'm a man. <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> Going what? <laughs> A man indeed. <laughs> David, please, please. If you're going to be disturbing me like this, then I will leave this house for you this mm. night, so. No. Because what is all this? No, 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 no. I, I, I won't, I won't, I won't disturb you. No, no, no. It's true because if I were in my house, somebody would be disturbing me up and down, trying to, trying, trying to. Poke me around the place. What is it? I said I don't want to do. Is it by force or you want to rape me? No, I will never do such a thing. I'm not even capable of rape. I'm not trying to poke you. You know what? Just, just, just go back to bed. I'm sorry. Just sleep tight. A man indeed. A man that is not capable of taking care of his woman. But only when it comes to sexual activities, you remember you're a man. David, what is it now? You're breathing hard, though. Do you want me to leave it? Should, should I leave the bedroom? No, I'll stop breathing hard. Mm. Yeah. Bro. So... You mean you've not touched her in the past two months? Man, guy. That's what I'm passing through right now. I mean, each time I try to touch her, she says she's not in the mood. So what are you still doing with her? I mean, it's obvious she does not love you now. What are you doing with her? I love her so much. I, I cannot even fathom she and I being apart. I mean, that would torment my soul. I love Emilia, you have no idea. If she stays in the house and I'm seeing her face every day and she refuses me touching her, I'm fine with that. Sex is very important in relationships. I mean, it spices up the relationship now. And we have all the time in the world for that. Bro, I think you've definitely gone look. I swear to God, you don't, you don't, you don't get lose your senses because I don't understand this, this whole nonsense. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually, right? Long day, we use the the. Wait. Go. Oh. What are you looking at? Go ahead, look. Shh, shh, shh. Guy, 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 come down. 
to just, just act normal, act as if we're not here. We're not here. Go, go, go talk to her. We don't, we don't, let, let, let's let's go for for them. What if I'm wrong? I don't want to upset her. Please, think of that. Okay, listen, for all we know, she might just be with her colleague. Okay, just, just pipe low. Your babe is holding hands with another man and you're telling me about colleague? You're taking things too far, guy. Emilia loves me. She can't cheat on me. Ah, no, 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 no. See, this girl don't definitely be with you. No, I'm fine. But you're, you're, not, you're not acting that way now. See, you know your problem. You don't understand love. Do you know what love is? Drink and be quiet. God, which kind? They don't, they don't use your brain. They don't, they don't fry your brain. I swear to God. Hi. Who was that guy? What? What are you talking about now, David? Please, I'm tired. I need to rest. Amelia, I am not stupid, okay? Who? Was that guy you were with at the restaurant a while ago? What? Wait a minute. Are you stalking me, David? No. Is this what it has come to? No. I'm not stalking you. I... I was actually at the restaurant and I saw you with my own eyes. Emilia, are you cheating? If you saw me at a restaurant with a man, so what? Hmm, David, so what? I'm not allowed to have male friends anymore. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> what am I even saying? You know what, David? Yes, I am cheating on you. Mm -hmm. So if you cannot deal, then let's break up. No, 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 please, Amelia. We don't have to break up, I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 David. We have to break up. Let's end this relationship here and now. If you cannot deal with me having male friends, then let's end it. Let us end the relationship and let me leave your house and have my peace. I just said I'm sorry, okay? Please. You have a right to keep male friends. And moreover, our relationship isn't a prison sentence. Please, I beg you, leave me. Please. Amelia, uh, I promise I won't ask silly questions again. Amelia, please. Actually, it's about your best friend, Dave. Mm. Yeah, and the girl who's dating, what's her useless name again? Um, Amelia. Exactly, Amelia. Honestly, this girl has turned my brother into a slave. I went there to say hi to them the other day, and I saw my brother, my own brother, washing her clothes. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> Not just that, though. <laughs> I went there again, Mm. And I saw her hugging another man right in front of my brother's house. Yeah. Listen, this girl doesn't love my brother one bit. And we have to do something about it. We, ha you, we gotta tell my brother about this. Jennifer, I'm actually happy you're concerned about your brother's well-being. Because <laughs> I don't know what that girl has done to your brother. Now, let me even tell you about this. Yesterday, we actually saw her with another man. Are you serious? Yes. And your brother refused to confront her. Now you see what I'm talking <laughs> about. No, no, now you see what I'm talking about. Because right now, it just feels now like my brother is under his spell. This is not normal again. I've actually thought about that. So what are we going to do? Because we can't just sit down and allow her to get married to my brother. If she does that, then my brother will become useless. We have to find a way to talk him out of that relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just look at my brother. He has turned into a worried version of himself. We gotta talk him out of this whole affair. It's, it's not working, it cannot work. 
talk. <laughs> See, I have done all the talking already. I'm even tired of talking. In short, I am still talking till now. Talking cannot help the situation. I feel we should pray for him. Pray? Exactly. That's what he needs, prayers. We have to do something about this. This would not work. Prayers would never work. <laughs> Jennifer, I don't, I don't know what we can do other than prayers because I have been talking and I am, I'm actually tired of talking. Yes. Although we know there's much to fear. Welcome, welcome. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. wow, wow, wow. Welcome to my humble abode. Your house is nice. Thank you, baby. Nice interior, nice touch. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Uh, babe. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Oh, he's just my chef. Oh, chef. Mm -hmm. chef. Hi. Yeah, hi. Makes really good meals. He does. Good. Like. Uh, is the food ready? Yeah, yeah, yes, the food is ready. Mm -hmm. Come, I'll show you the rest of the house. You want to see? Yes, I want to see it. Chef. Yeah. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. Why? How am I looking at you? <laughs> Just like that, you make me shy. <laughs> make you shy? Mm hmm. <laughs> Come here. What's that? Seeing you. Same here. I'll call you, okay? Mm hmm. Tomorrow. Mm hmm. Take care, babe. Of course, I will. Don't fall. I uh, know. I'll, <laughs> I'll call you. Okay. Drive safely. Of course. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I mean it. Yes, David. Seriously? A chef? Is that how you see me now? David, please. I'm not in the mood, neither do I have the time for your question and answer sessions, all right? Maxwell is just a friend. Just a friend. Just a friend. So how come you can't properly introduce me to him? Amelia, are you ashamed of me? David, what is it now? Huh? What is your problem? What, and what difference does it even make what I introduce you as? My, 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 my chef, my, my, my flatmate or my boyfriend, what, what difference does it make? David, I have told you before, I am not in the mood for your tantrums. Fine. You're not in the mood for tantrums. I understand that. But please answer me just this one question. When you were outside, what were the both of you doing? Hugging each other. Wait. Hold on a minute. You followed me outside. Um. I, like you were creeping behind me outside. No, no, no. I, I, I didn't mean to. I was just, I was just doing some chores in the compound. David, do you realize that you're a sick man? Yes, I know. My good... What is, what is all this? Huh? I'm sorry. You followed me like a little rat outside to see what I was doing? I'm so sorry. You know what, this is the height. No, this is... No, no, Emilia. I am done. No, please. All right? Emilia. Do you hear me? Please. I am done with this relationship. Do you understand what I'm saying? No. 
Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I said this relationship is done. I mean, no, David, please. I am done. Please, don't, don't, what the hell? Don't be offended. I'm... Behind me, look it, look, 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 I'm sorry. David, I'm done. This relationship is over. I'm sorry. Please, Amelia. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, don't leave me. You can't just leave me like this. Please, I beg you, please. David, I am done. Honestly, I am just done. We keep going around in circles and it doesn't make sense. I'm done answering your stupid questions. Fine, it will never happen again, I promise. Okay, I will never ask you silly questions again, please. You promise? Yes. David, your promises mean nothing to me. You sound like a broken record. I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Please, please, Amelia, how do you expect me to survive? I can't live without you. Please, I'm begging you. I beg you in the name of God. Please. Please, please, Amelia, please. Please don't go. Stay. David, you have to stop. Okay, if you want me here, then you have to stop acting like a nagging husband. We're in a relationship. It's, it's not a jail sentence. I know. I know. And I will stop acting like a nagging husband, okay? You can tell everyone that we're flatmates if you wish. You can even tell them that I'm your brother. I don't care, as long as you're here with me. Please. Okay? I care about you so much. I love you. Don't you understand? Please. I'm so sorry. You know I love you too. I know. I know, babe. Can I... Can I get a hug? Please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Babe. Um, thank you so much, babe. I... Um, babe. I was wondering if you're hungry. I made your favorite. Rice and chicken curry sauce. Can I dish you some? Yes. Dish my food and I'll soak this out. Um, um, once again, babe, I'm sorry for upsetting you. Please forgive me. It's fine. Thank you. I'll go dish your food now. I love you so much, so, so much. You mean the entire world to me. <sighs> Emilia, I love you so much, so, so much. You mean the entire world to me. Will you do me the honor of spending the rest of your life with me as my wife? Yes! Oh my gosh!
у меня. У меня. Эмилия, о мой гад. Эмилия. Where are you? Why are you not picking my calls? Amelia, it's been a week now and I've not heard anything from you and you're, you're not responding to my calls or my messages. I've been to your workplace, no one knows your whereabouts. I'm beginning to get worried. Just say something, let me know that you are safe. Oh my God. <sighs> What's up? What's up, bro? How you doing? Well, fine. Just chilling. I have something to show to you. What's that? It's about Amelia. Amelia? Yeah. What about Amelia? Is she in trouble? Tell me, talk to me, talk to me. What, what, what happened to her? I... <sighs> Amelia? Yes. No. Does your girlfriend getting married to another man? No, no, this can't be true. This has to be photoshopped. Or maybe it's a prank. It could be a prank. Take, take your phone. That's not real. You're doing this again. That's not real. Stop it. You're always trying to turn a blind eye to the obvious truth in front of you. Bro, she's already married to another man. She dumped you. She, 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 she can't dump me, Alfred. She loves me. And I love her back. We, we, we fulfill each other's needs. She can't just leave me like that. Stop that. What, 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 what do you mean by that? She never loved you. I mean, I've always told you this now. It was a one-sided love. Yeah. I mean, I've always told you this now. She never oh loved you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. David, what is all this now? I came here to break the good news to you now. You should be happy now. This is great news, bro. You, sh you should actually thank me. She's gone. You're free. You're a free man. Bro, let's go and have some drinks and, and, and celebrate now. You're a free man. Oh, 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 well, Alfred, I'm sorry, but you need to leave. I want to be left alone now. I should leave your house? You can call it whatever you want to call it. Just go. Go. What do you mean I should go? Go over here. Alfred, get out! Get out of my house, please! Okay. I'll go. But I just need you. Just, 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 just... Just go! Go home. All right. <laughs> Amelia! No! Amelia! 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 Oh my God, why is he not picking up? It's all with my cord. Oh, Alfred. God, Alfred. Please speak. Hello, my 
Hello. Oh, hello, Alfred. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm okay. Alfred, I've been trying to reach my brother, but he's not picking up his calls. And right now, I'm just so sick and worried about everything. Yeah, Alfred, can you please do me a favor? Can you please help me go see my brother? Please. Can it be today? Like right now? Yeah, please. Okay, when you go to see him, please just kindly let me know so I'll be at peace. Thank you. Oh God. I really want this guy. I want him, but he never listened to me. I warned him about this girl, but he was blinded with stupid love. Now look at him. She jilted him and married somebody else. Just hope he's gonna learn his lesson. Maybe not to do. Defeat. What's going on now? You've emptied the whole bottle. What was happening? Alfred. Alfred, what are you doing here? I thought I told you the last time we spoke that I want to be left alone. Left alone? It's been days already. Do you want to kill yourself because of that, that piece of trash? Don't you dare! Don't you dare refer to the woman I love as piece of trash! The woman that you loved. So you were still defending that woman. The same woman that left you for another man. That's the person you're defending, David. Wait. 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 When exactly will you come to terms with reality? When you're old and grey? Albert, why? Why? <laughs> What have I done that is so wrong? All I did was love her unconditionally. All I did was do her bidding. What is my offense? Why did she have to hurt me this way? You need to stop crying. I mean, you're bigger and better than this now. Come on. Yeah. So what if she left you? It's her loss and not yours. You still have your whole life in front of you. You can't decide to put your life on a standstill because of someone who clearly never cared about you. She never loved you. I mean, if she did, she would never have treated you like garbage now. You need to come to terms with the fact that this, the, the relationship is over. Move on with your life, David. Come on now. Better than this now. See, you see you crying like a baby. My own David. Come on now. Stop this. Alfred, you do not understand. I love that woman with every fiber of my soul. I built my world around her. She's my world. No. You are your world. Yes. You can't put your life on a standstill because of that woman. Bro, you need to get up. Pick up the pieces of your life and move on. She is not the one for you. I can assure you that the one for you, the right person for you is still out there waiting for you. And trust me, when you meet her, you will definitely feel the connection. Not this woman now. This woman that comes around insulting, treating you anyhow. She's the one you're crying and you want to kill yourself over her. What's all this? Get serious with your job and make let's make some money. Stop doing this, I beg. Ah, you want to drink yourself to death? When did you start drinking? Empty the whole bottle. Oh, I beg. You're stronger than this, I beg. You're bigger than this, huh?
just a minute. I'll be right there. I'm really so sorry. Thank you. I'm so sorry for not coming to see you earlier. It's all right. Emmanuel was so sick. And I couldn't just leave him alone with his father. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope it's my okay. nephew is recovering. Of course, yes. He's, he's actually good. <laughs> I'm so sorry for what happened. Like, I've always known that there was something really fishy about that girl. It doesn't matter anymore. Uh, let's not talk about her. She's in my past now. All right? Come. Come and sit down. Mm? Yeah. <clears throat> so tell me, how is your husband doing? He's fine. We thank God. He's spending some time with the kids alone, so I decided to use this opportunity to see you. Thank you. Much appreciated. You're welcome. Like, honestly, I'm really so happy that you're moving on after what that evil girl did to you. Oh, come on, Jenny. I already told you. There's no point bringing her into our conversations, OK? I'm <sighs> over her. It's going to be very hard to be just over her like that. She has been part of your life one way or the other. She's someone you once loved, Jelly. But I don't love her anymore. Okay. I'm done with her. She, she, she is dead to me. Amelia is dead to me. Okay. Well, I'm actually glad you're moving on. It's all good. Yes, I am. I have. It's okay. Thank you for your support. You're welcome. You'll be fine. Oh my goodness, four million naira worth of deal. Yes, yes. I need to tell Alfred, I need to call Alfred, I need to call Alfred right now. Oh my God, Alfred, Alfred, Alfred. Come on, pick a call, man, Alfred. Yo, yo, bro, listen, I just won another one. In the space of two weeks, I have gotten 20 million naira worth of deals. I'm on fire, bro. Which club do you want to hang out with tonight? Tonight, you know what, you know what? Get yourself geared up. I am coming to pick you up. <sighs> Hi. Hi. Don't I know you? You, you're the guy who delivered um, an engagement ring to a couple of months back. Yes, 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 that was me. Yeah. Wow, nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. How did that go? I, I must say, married life looks good on you. You look good. Well, about that, the marriage did not happen. We broke up. What? What happened? Oh, don't worry. No, 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 don't, no, no. don't worry. I'll tell you. She just decided to leave, and um, I didn't even get a chance to propose to her. You know. And guess what? She's married now. No closure, but I'm fine. I'm sorry. I wish this relationship to come with, like, you know, a manual or something. I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. So tell me, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Uh, my office is around the corner. That's why I was able to deliver the ring personally to you. Nice. Well, nice to meet you again, okay? Mm. How's it going? Yeah. Of, of course. See you around. Yeah, see you around.
Hello. Hi. Can you uh, hear? Yeah, yeah. I figured I could give you a ride to wherever you're going. No, it's fine. My ride is almost here. Oh. Uh, why don't you save the money for another time? <laughs> it's very thoughtful of you, but I don't want to mess up your schedule for the day, so... Listen, I'm not doing anything today, okay? And I insist. I don't mind. Please. Okay. I'll um, just cancel. Alright, so I'll help you out the door. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing me help. The pleasure is all mine. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to have your number. Perhaps we could hang out some other time. Okay. Sure. Here's my phone. Here. Yeah. All I'll right. call you. Of course. All right. Ciao, ciao. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hello. Am I on to Maria? Yes, uh, I'm the guy that you... Yeah, I know who you are. Hi. I was wondering if you weren't going to call me anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry, my bad. I was so engulfed with work activities. But here I am now, right? So how are you? I'm good. I'm fine. You? So, I'm fine. Um, so, I just wanted to say again, I'm sorry for how your relationship turned out. It was pretty sad. Thank you so much, but it's all in the past now. You know, I'm over it. I have been meaning to ask you, though. Are you single or taken? And please, I beg you, be single. <laughs> <laughs> You are so funny. <laughs> well, if you must know, I'm not taken. I'm single, but not desperately searching. Oh, too bad I'm desperately searching. I'll tell you what. How's your tomorrow night? I'm thinking you and I could go have dinner somewhere. You know, somewhere really nice and upscale. Mm, um, I'm not sure. Can I check and get back to you tomorrow? Okay. Fair enough. I expect your call. Yeah. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, take care. So, um, good night. Tonight was the most amazing night. <laughs> Maria, perhaps we can do this again some other time. 
would like that. Have a wonderful night. You too. And drive safe. Thank you. <laughs> you, Maria. Good morning. How was your night? My night was good. Don't tell me you're still sleeping. The call woke me up. How are you, by the way? I'm all right. Actually, I was preparing fried rice and chicken. I wanted to bring some over for you. That's why I called to get your address. Oh, wow. Um, you want to bring me breakfast in bed? Yeah. You took me to dinners last night, so... It's just right that I returned the favor, so... Would you send me your address? Okay, okay. I'll do that right away, all right? Okay. <laughs> wow. No woman has ever done this for me. What, you like? I love it. It's so delicious. <laughs> I didn't know you know how to cook this good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. I do. Thank you very much for bringing me breakfast. I really appreciate this. Of course. You're welcome. trouble right no it's impossible for you to ah you don't even know who you're speaking to you're going to eat your words just watch this look at that mm. ah. oh. all right <laughs> i've had too many wow near, near goals like my part has to be broken Chupa. <laughs> no <laughs> oh my god oh, hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, take your own part no, take no, yours no, so I was broken down, so you give it to me. You might pardon. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Yeah, that's my boy. No. That's my boy. No. That's my boy. No. <laughs> I told you. Who's the master now? Me, 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 me. <laughs> oh, I'm going to whoop you silly. <laughs> Play! <laughs> what? Don't let me score again! Let's fight for it! Play! I like the way you are when you win. <laughs> Can you score me some more goals? I, I think I'm, I'm I'm going to go now. I am I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what. No, it's, it's it's fine. Where's my bag? I'm sorry. I... It's really fine. Is that something you did? It's 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 okay. It's it's alright. Uh, yeah. Do, do you want me to drop you off? No, 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 no. You don't have to. Are you sure? Yes. I I just uh, um get a cab home. My bag. Um. Yes. Um, I'll come get the bows later, some other time. Oh, Maria. Oh, 
She kissed me. She kissed me. Wait, wait. Did she really bring food for you? Yeah. Guy, this girl can cook. The food was so delicious while I was eating, I kept thinking, oh, I wish Alfred was here to taste this. <laughs> Guy, you fuck up. Oh, I know. So she bring food corn, you know, call me. <laughs> she fuck me you now. You don't say me and food now, five and six. I know, I know, don't be offended. But I just wanted to spend some quiet time with her. <laughs> you know what I mean, huh? No, I understand, I understand, actually. So, I mean, after the food, what happened? What next? Yeah, so. After we had the delicious meal that she brought, guess what? We played video games together. I couldn't believe it. You know, although I let her win, you know. <laughs> wow. You mean she actually played video game with you? Mm-hmm. Huh. That's something that they never did with you, you know. Exactly. You know, for once in my life, I felt like a complete man. Hmm. Having a woman beside me doing the things that I love to do with me, playing video games with me, that felt so romantic, bro. She's really one of a kind. Yeah, exactly. I would like to meet her. Mm. Of course, no problem. Good, good food. Maybe. <laughs> I, 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 I want to meet her. Uh, because of the food, I mean. <laughs> Look at this guy. Anyway, I'll introduce both of you to each mm -hmm. other. Anyway, talking about romantic, guess mm -hmm. what? Do you know we actually kissed? Madu. She kissed me, and I kissed her back. You know, I think I am liking this girl. Ha! Huh. Wow. Then, she, you have, I mean, you've told her how you feel already, right? That's the thing. You know, ever since that happened, she just up and left. I've been trying to reach her to no avail. Mm. She's not picking my calls. She's not responding or returning my messages. Uh. It's almost as if she is no longer comfortable with me. That's strange. Yeah. Oh. Have you... Have you gone to see her? No. I haven't. Ah. What are you waiting for now? I... Go to her, please, and, you know, find out why she's not taking your calls now. I, I, I don't want anyone to think I am stalking her. What do you mean stalking her? I want to see this lady. What are you talking about? Go to her and tell her how you feel about her. Are you sure this is a good idea? I am very sure about this. Okay, see her big. Maybe I'll give it a shot. You should give it a shot. Thank you. I mean, they are, you there, they cook every day. Now, to go see babe now, <laughs> express yourself, you know, fit. Come on, the food makes sense. Uh... Don't, don't talk about food. Don't even mention food here again. Yeah, Maria, why haven't you been picking my calls? It's just something that I've done that is so wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Then why did you just leave that day we kissed? You said nothing. I mean, I thought we found a connection. I thought we had chemistry. Look, David, I'm going to be straight with you. I have not been very lucky in relationships, so I do not have the energy or the time for games. And most of all, I am not going to settle as somebody's rebound. Rebound? What's that all about? David, a couple of months ago, you, you were going to en be engaged to your ex-girlfriend. People just don't move on from relationships like that. You, you must have seen a life together. You must have planned out your life together. So you, it's difficult to make me believe that, oh, I've moved on from this person and I'm ready to jump into the next relationship. Maria, it's been seven months now since my ex and I went our separate ways. I've gotten over that relationship. And most importantly, I am in love with someone else now. Yes, Maria. I'm in love with you. And I'm hoping that you and I can grow 
this little love that we have. David, I hear you. But you're throwing around some really big words. Relationship, love. They, they, those are serious commitments. So I'm begging you, if this is a game to you, just walk away. Let's pretend we never met at all. Because, like I said, I do not have the energy or the time for another heartbreak. I can't go through that again. Maria, I promise you, I know what I want. And I want you. Hmm. Alfred, I see you're enjoying your meal. This is really nice. Really? Yes. Thank you. I told you, bro. My girlfriend is the best cook in the entire universe. Mm, you don't hype me too much. I'm an okay cook. <laughs> You can say that again, actually. Yeah. You know? She's actually the best girlfriend you've ever had. Holy fuck. You know? This is the first time I'm eating a meal prepared by a lady in this house. Really? So, so what happened to his past girlfriends? Mm -hmm. They couldn't cook? Well, uh... Amelia is the first woman that ever lived with him. Oh. And um, let me let you in on something. Oh. Your boyfriend here was actually the woman in the relationship. <laughs> ah, don't, don't, don't choke, please. <laughs> it's okay. Yes. Mm. He was the woman in the relationship. He did all the house chores. He oh, cooks for her. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Well, babe, there's nothing to be embarrassed by. Okay. Besides, I'm here now, and I'm not letting you do any of the chores. As for cooking, I'm going to spoil you sleep. Taking care of you is my sole purpose. Hmm. Thank you, darling. <laughs> Trust you. You're welcome. She's the one, though. Yes, she's the one, though. Do you want more? There's more from where that came from. Hi. She don't go. You don't want to shake me. I, I free me, I beg. See, uh, that girl is a better girl. Though. You know, say the pombo at times. What did I do again now? Uh, what was the point telling Maria that I do the house chores, I cook for my ex? Do you not think that's too much information? It's a good thing now. She needs to know about your past. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it Hanu? No, answer my question. Is it Hanu? And what makes you think it's in your capacity to deliver my story to anybody? Anytime you see food, <laughs> you will lose your senses and your mouth will just open. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. They talk anyhow. <laughs> now, wah. <laughs> see, okay. Make I ask you this question. You cook or me, you no know, cook? What, what kind uh -huh. of question is that? You, you wash plates now. Not be, not be, now you're all of us. You cook and you wash. Why don't you take a cell mobile and go and stand on top of the pulpit and tell the entire world that I cook for a woman? Sit, 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 sit. Hmm? You chop that food now. Yeah, after that kind of food, you know, you know me and food now. Shebi, you will come to this uh -huh. house and eat food. You will come here and eat food. I'm watching now. No, no, no treating meal. <laughs> See, I'm not playing soccer in my house. <laughs> Oh, wow. Relax. <laughs> Move even play now. I make a vlog you. I go trash. You don't think we'll play? Uh, hey, yeah. my guy. Can you pass, John? Please help, please. Please help, please. I'm sorry. Anything? Anything? I'm sorry. Dare you put the foot on the fire? You want to burn my house? Oh my God. You want to burn my house? I don't want to. You want to burn? Max, my please now. Hold up. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? You want to burn my house? You want to burn my house? Are you mad? Are you mad? You want to burn my house? You want to burn, burn my house? Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Get up. Tell me, why do you keep doing the direct opposite of what I ask you not to do? Are you mad? Are you mad? 
Are you mad? You want to burn my house? Amelia! <coughs> Come to the bed. <coughs> Are you coming or not? You move. Jennifer, what a surprise. You didn't tell me you were coming. It's all good. I'm here now, so... Babe, who is there? Oh, is she around? Yeah. Look, babe, oh. can you please come to the living room? There's someone I need to introduce you to. Okay, um, I'll be out in a minute. Yeah. She's cooking. Mm -hmm. So you now have someone who cooks for you. Don't, don't even start. Interesting. Yes, uh, babe. Um, meet my baby sister, <laughs> Jennifer, uh, and Jenny. Meet my sweetheart, the yeah. angel of my life, <laughs> Maria. Mm. Hi. Hi. It's so nice to finally meet you. Oh, yeah. you too. <laughs> you were so beautiful. I mean, you run to the family. <laughs> I seem to like her already. She seems to have a good sense of humor. <laughs> oh, I feel we would get along, unlike Amelia. No, no, not. What is it? Nothing. Okay, so, um, Maria, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. How did Dave get to find such a beautiful damn self? Oh, you're going to make a girl blush. You better don't blush, because you're actually very beautiful. Thank you so much. You know what, I'll just leave you two to it. Catch up with each other while I'll be upstairs. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. let you know when lunch is ready. All right, baby, and behave. Bye. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. 
Come here. Yeah. Sit. Thank sit, you. Sit. I heard so much about you. I mean, David put on shut up about you. Right. So it's really nice to meet you again. Hmm. Same here. I've heard great things about you too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> um, Maria. Yeah? Do you love my brother? I'm sorry for asking because I don't want him to get hurt anymore. Well, yes. I love David very much. And I promise I'm not going to hurt him. Okay? That's nice to hear. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, I was making lunch and just going to finish up and let you know when it's ready. Okay. I've, on a second thought, do you want to join me? Uh, okay. That, okay, let's go then. Come on. Right after you. Yeah. <laughs> You're back? Okay. Oh. Babe. Uh, babe. Did she leave already? Oh yeah, yeah, she had to leave. What happened? She she didn't even finish her food. I hope everything is okay. Um her children's school called her to tell her that her daughter is reacting to something, so she had to rush. Oh, that's sad. I pray she gets better quick. I hope so too. Okay, I'm just going oh. to pack this up. By the way, baby. You know, I think my sister likes you. Really? Well, I like her too. She seems nice. <laughs> mm, she can be like that. And not all of my girlfriends have made it to her good book. Oh. So, that means you're very, very special. Well, what can I say? I am very special. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Does it look like I'm doing? Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I have to see how you do it. Jenny, I love Maria so much. I am pretty much sure she and I are destined to spend the rest of our lives with each other. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, she makes me happy. She completes me. All right. Well, I want you to be there. I have spoken to Alfred about my proposal plans and is cool with it. Thank you, I'm so glad you like her. So, here's the plan. I'm nervous. Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Wish me luck. Good luck, man. You got this, okay? Hey guys, oh, what's going on here? Uh oh. <laughs> Me too. I love you so much, Maria. And I know you love me too. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. That's sweet. Please, marry me. Of course. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a hug? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Congrats, darling. Sister in love. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Okay. So I think it's time to make a toast. Yes. So, everybody, please. Everybody, please. Let's make a toast. 
Hey, big boy. <laughs> hey, that's for you. Hey. That's mine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me have this then. Right. No, no, no. Lady first. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lady first. <laughs> okay. There you go. What about you? No, me. What about me? <laughs> no, we're the, we're the nearly. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, so. Alright, so. Raise your glasses. Let's toast to love, togetherness, and understanding. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Really cheers. Right. Cheers. 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 Toasting forever. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, what's going on? Big. What's going on? You've been like this since you got back. I'm fine. Babe, can I ask you for a little favor? Anything. Can you use the other room tonight? I want to be left alone. You want me to leave our bedroom? Yes, if you can. You know what? You can stay. I'll leave instead. David, wait. You can talk to me. What is it? You've been unhappy f for a while now. What is it? I'm fine. I just need some personal space. That's all. Babe, what's, what's going on? Are you going out? Yes, I am. But it's Wednesday. <laughs> yes, it's Wednesday. Yes, we're supposed to stay in and play video games. That's what we do on Wednesday. Maria, you and I are getting married in a couple of months, OK? And from now until then, we have a lot of Wednesdays to play video games. Moreover, you practically live here now. We spend a lot of time together. OK, but... If we're getting married, like you said, isn't that the more reason we should, you know, continue healthy habits? What is going on? Nothing is going on. You've been unavailable lately. And you don't even eat the food that I make. What is going on? I'm worried. Maria, nothing is going on, okay? I am running late now and I have to go, so I'll see you later. I gotta go. Okay. Yeah. I love you. I know. I know. But where, where would he go? Where would he go? Where would he go? Where would he?
Hello? Alfred! Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Hi. Yeah, sorry for calling you so late. I'm sorry. Please, is he with you? Is, is David with you? Have you seen him? No, he's not. Oh. We have not seen each other since the engagement. Oh, okay. okay, sorry for waking you up again. Yeah, have a good night. Where were you going? Babe, where did you go? I've been very sick. I've been calling you. Where did you go? I saw something bad that happened to you. I was hanging out with Alfred. I'm so tired now. I need to go. Uh-uh. Wait. I just spoke to Alfred, and he said he hasn't seen you since the engagement. So what? I said I'm tired, OK? I need to sleep. I'm tired. I'm sleep. What? Why is he lying? What is going on? What is going on? David is never like this. He, he's never lied to me. He doesn't return home late. But recently, it's just been coming home late and it's getting out of hand. Wait, is he cheating? No, no, he, he couldn't be. David loves me. He would never do that to me. Oh. Maria, you're just overthinking things. What if he's going through such a tough time and he can't tell you about it because he doesn't want to see he doesn't want you to see him weak. <sighs> what is eating you up, David? If only you could just trust me and open up to me. Maybe I could be of help. What is the meaning of this? I was hoping you would help me. So can you kindly tell me why there is makeup on your shirt? Oh, this is nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Don't let it bother you. Okay? It's, it's, it's nothing. Wait, is this the reason why you've been acting weird and unavailable? Have you been cheating? Listen. All right, fine. I, I, I bumped into Amelia and we hugged, and that's it. Amelia, your ex. Oh, come on. You saw your ex and you hugged her, and you, you're not showing an ounce of remorse, David. You, you're going around hugging your ex, and you, you're telling me, so you want me to be elated by it? You want me to clap my hands for you? Is that what you want? What am I to you? A rebound? Maria. Do you realize you are raising your voice at me? I will speak to you however I deem fit because you're a cheat and a liar. And you think that I begged you, David. I begged you. I said, be different from the rest. Be different from every other person, but no, you're just like them. All right, that's fine. Now you go upstairs, take all your belongings and leave my house. I am done. You don't waste your breath. I respect myself too much, so before you ranting all this rubbish, I already packed my stuff. Fine! Rubbish. Then fine! Get the hell out of my life! 
You all women are the same. I'm not doing this the second time. Oh. David, explain to me what happened. Maria called me last night and said you sent her out of your house and ended your relationship with her. What happened? Yeah. Did she tell you the part where she raised her voice at me? Yes. And you deserved it. I mean, have you... Wait, you've not started sleeping with random girls, Abby? Of course not. Then what happened? Listen, Alfred. I finally bumped into Amelia. Uh, say it again. Amelia. Hey! So you want to tell me Amelia is the reason why you sent Maria out of your house? Ah, uh -uh, David, now. I thought we are done with that chapter already. Eh? So you're still being affected by what that girl did to you? I am not affected. Then what happened? You sent a good girl out of your house. For what? You know what? Alfred, if you came here to talk about Maria, you can as well go back to where you were coming from. Please! Will you stop this nonsense? See, see, your brother started again, oh. David! He has started again! What is this I'm hearing? Maria called to tell me that you broke up with her because of that witch of a girl. What game is she playing, reporting me to every Tom, Dick and Harry in the entire town? David, why would you choose to do this? Why would you choose Amelia over Maria? Jenny, did she tell you the part where she raised her voice at me? Yes, yeah, she did. And of course you deserved it. David, I don't get it. Why would you choose to go back to that uncutful girl? That rude, animalistic behavior girl? That bitch of a girl? David, this is how low you've become. Enough! Jennifer, I am still your elder brother. No matter how things get, the least you can do is accord me some respect. Respect my house. David, you don't deserve any form of respect. David, why would you choose to do this to Maria? Why? All right. I've had enough. You can go home now. Leave my house. Wait. Go stop stop that house. now. We, we stop that. Stop. I said, leave my house. Now. And you, get out. Both of you. Leave my house this minute! I should, what, what? Alfred and Jennifer, leave my house. I will throw you out myself. Get out! Wait, this guy is not okay. David, I should leave. You're definitely not okay. There's something wrong with you. You're not okay. Jennifer, no, no, no. Let, let, let's say, what, what, wait, wait. Let's, let's go, let's go. For, for, just leave him alone. David, live your life. Oh, you will regret this nonsense you're doing. And I will live with that. Now, you out. David, you want me to leave your house? Heard me. I hate you. Fine. What nonsense. Babe! <sighs> yes, of course. Maria isn't here anymore. Amelia, <clears throat> now tell me, what are you doing in my house? David, please. I want to apologize. Apologize for what? For everything, all that I did to you. I'm, I'm so sorry. 
please find a place in your heart to forgive me. You're sorry. You know what? Just, just save your words. Even if the high heavens fall from above the sky, I will never forgive you for what you did to me. David. Amelia, go back to your home. Go back to your marriage. You know what? Happy marriage life. At least I owe you that. My marriage is anything but happy. If I could rewind time, I would never have left you. I treated you so horribly because I didn't think you were man enough. Simply because you did everything and anything I told you to. As opposed to just thanking God for giving me such a good man, I treated you so badly. I'm, I'm sorry, David. Yeah, you're sorry. Hmm? Wow. What a beautiful story. I give it to you. But you know what? I am not interested in whether you are happy or unhappy in your marriage. It doesn't bother me. It's none of my business. As a matter of fact, you are getting whatever you deserved from that marriage. And when I leave my house this minute, I don't want to ever set my eyes on you again. What are you doing in front of my house? David, what are you doing here? Hmm? Why are you packed in front of my compound? This can be cold stalking. Last I checked, we were done, so I don't know why you're, you're standing here. Are you certain of this? Because from what I can see, you are still wearing my ring. I mean, I'm sorry, okay? Please. I know I have wronged you, but I have realized that I still need you in my life. I'm sorry. Let's have a fresh start, please. For the sake of old times, I'm going to give you one little advice. Do not come back here, else I'll send the dog to you. Maria, come on. Maria. Dave, I did tell them not to let you in. How do you even get in? Why did they let you into this place? Janet, take it easy, okay? I know you're still mad at me. Yes, I messed up. I agree, but I'm sorry. I, I, I overreacted, okay? Please. Uh, what do you want? Come on, Jenny. Still t talk to me with love. I just said I'm sorry, and I'm still your big brother. You don't deserve to be called my brother. Because no same brother would ever treat a sister this way. Jenny, I'm so sorry. I know I, I hurt your feelings and I made you feel bad. Please. Don't be offended. Find it in your heart to forgive me, okay? Please. I need you around. I miss my sister. And you know you're still my fixer. Hmm? My five and six. My little teddy. My little sissy. Want me to go on my knees now? Should I kneel? Hmm? <laughs> Should I kneel down? I'll kneel down if you ask me to. It's okay. Are you sure? I shouldn't kneel down. I forgive you. Oh, I knew you would. Thank you so much. You love me so, so much. Just as much as I love you, too. Okay, so, how have you been? Uh, have you been able to patch things up with Maria? Uh, about that, no. I mean, I, I did actually try to pay her a visit at her place, but she asked me to leave her space, so I left. Of course you do deserve it. I agree. Because that girl showed you nothing but love. But how did you pay her back in return? You chose that little brat. 
That uncaughtful girl, that rude, that witch of a girl over Maria. I made a terrible mistake. One that I still regret. Maria is totally different from Amelia. I mean, she loves me. She takes care of me. You know, she just looks at me and she knows everything that I want. She knows how to tend to my needs, almost as if she's a part of me. And I love her too. I miss her so much. I, I need her back. And that's where you come in, okay? I know she listens to you. I need you to talk to her for me. Just put in a word or two, please. Help him brother out here, okay? Okay. I'll talk to her. Thank you. I always knew I could count on you. But you're so annoying, trust me. Yeah, yeah, I'm so annoying. That's why you like me, don't you? <laughs> no. But you're so stubborn. I'm not as stubborn as you are. That's why you're my sister. You're stubborn and you have big eyes too. See your big eyes. Yours is more. Mine? No, yours is bigger. Yours is bigger. Stop it again. I miss you, darling. See my baby sister, come here. Come, 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 come. You're so annoying. Ah, go ahead with your stubborn girl. You, What's stubborn? You know they agree. <laughs> Did you cook anything? She's here. What is going on here? Well... I thought you said he was gravely ill. Well... It's a prank. A prank? What sort of stupid prank? You know what I'll, I don't... Please, please, don't go. I'm so sorry they had to bring you in this way. It was the only way to get through to you. Please. Maria, I'm sorry I maltreated you. You are an amazing person. You're the best I've ever had. Better than all the rest. You are a good woman and I took you for granted. I'm so sorry. I promise from now on, Spot, if you forgive me, I'll be a better man. And of course, I won't skip late nights again. Please. Maria, please forgive my brother. Can't you see how much you love and care for him? We can't afford to lose you. He loves you so much. We all love you. Please just hear him out and please forgive him. Please. David, you hurt me. I know, I know. Maria, that's why I'm on bended knees right now. Asking for your forgiveness, please. I have thought deeply about this. There's no way I can live my life without you in it. Please. Please, baby. Forgive me. I beg you. On one condition. Anything. Anything, babe. Anything. Video games. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday? Babe, you and I will play video games every single day. Uh, 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 uh. Careful what you promise because I'm going to hold you to it. Cross my heart. Hold me to it. You both are here. Of course, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can try to forgive you. Fine, I forgive you. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Are you going to get a boy? Of course. <laughs> Oh my god, I have my girl back. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>